Hello everyone and welcome to my virus adware malware removal guide. I also like to refer it to as the super cleanup 101 video. So the purpose of this video will be to return your computer to a functioning state if ever you've been infected with malware adware or viruses. So first things first, we will want to run all of these programs that I will show you in a normal Windows mode. If, however, trying to run these in normal Windows does not work because it's either too laggy, too slow, we will simply start in safe mode with networking. If you are running Windows XP Vista or 7, during boot times, you will want to hit the F8 key repeatedly and quickly until the menu appears, right before you see that Windows logo try to load, and it will ask you do you want to start in safe mode and you will select the option safe mode with networking. However, if you are running Windows 10 or Windows 8, just hit the Windows R key, type in msconfig in one word, hit enter, and you will see under the boot option, just simply click safe boot and choose the network option, apply and simply restart your computer and you will restart into a safe boot with networking capabilities so you can still download all the software required and also update the databases for those software to make sure that they are up to date. Another good thing you can do is simply uh, clean up your startup folder. So if you are running, again, Windows XP Vista 7, Windows R, type in msconfig and go to the startup um, tab. If however you are running Windows 8 or 10, just simply hit Control shift escape together and the startup tab is over here and simply go through the list and disable every single program in that list. If you're not sure what it is, just disable it for now because when the computer restarts, it will not load those software. So hopefully there's something that you're not sure of or you're not sure what it is, it will not start it at that time. So once this is all done, go ahead and restart your computer and then we'll get started with the cleanup. All right, so your computer is rebooted. You're either in safe mode or now no program or just a basic program loaded at startup. The first program we'll want to download is Arkill, and there will be a link in the description to every single program and where they can be found. So the page will look like this, Arkill, you will just decide where you want to download it from. You can download it straight from the website. And simply, uh, you will also want to run these programs at, as the admin. So if you're not the admin, but you know the admin password, or you are the admin, it's always a good idea to just right click the program and just simply click run as administrator. Now this will let you know that it will be making changes to the computer, so it's asking for permission. You will click yes. And it will go through um, your computer to make sure that there are no malicious processes and it will fix any file extension hijacks or any registry options that are not supposed to be there. And as we can see, everything's been completed and no issues were found in my case. Excellent. And it will create a log file. Next up on our list is Malwarebytes. Now you can download a free download just for the uh, this occasion. So I'll just select click it. I personally use the paid version because it protects you in real time. Uh, I find that it's worth the fee. But again, the free version, if you run it, will work just as well as the paid version. So you will install and open Malwarebytes. Before you get started, go to Settings, Protection, make sure Scan for Rootkits is on. Go back to your dashboard and hit Scan Now. Now let it go through the whole scan and whenever it finds the items that are considered threats, simply quarantine and delete them and let Malwarebytes handle it. It will most likely ask you for a restart. If it does not, I would still restart the computer just to make sure that everything is okay. Next up, we have AW Cleaner. So same things, download the program. Once it's downloaded, right click the file, run as admin, say yes. And you will want to hit the scan button. Now this one will scan for any rootkits, sorry not rootkits, uh, adware, uh, toolbars or browser hijackers. It might also look for um, uh, 
software that change the proxy so that when you connect to the internet it goes through an unwanted server which we do not want and it will also fix some browser settings that have been uh, ma sorry that have been uh, messed with also while this is running it's always a great idea to run a um, an ad blocker so i use ublock origin which is a great uh easy to use blocker doesn't use too many resources and it's free and it will protect you against some uh, malicious ads that you might find online also the whole idea behind these programs and running multiple programs is that they each specialize in a different area and it's like an onion you want layered protections so different programs will look for different things some of them will kind of do the same stuff but you always want to make sure that you use all the programs to clean up in every single area and try to find every single things that you can. Excellent. In my case, I've already run it before, so the cleaner found nothing. But if it did, it will select, make sure everything is selected. Then you would just hit clean. And as before, it would most likely ask you to restart your computer. If it does not, I would still restart it just to make sure. Next up on the list is junkware removal tool. Simply download the program. Right click, run as admin, say yes, and same idea for this one, uh, I will have to get back to you because it will close every single program that is running. So once you are ready, you will simply hit any key to continue and let the program do its work. So the junkware removal tool has finished its scan and whatever it found it deleted, everything got taken care of. So awesome, we can close it. and. Usually by that time your computer will be fairly clean, uh, most of the time actually it will probably be completely clean, but if you just want to make sure and be thorough, there is one last program that we can install called Hitman Pro. Uh, you can buy it, but you can run a 30 day trial if you want. So once it's downloaded, simply same thing, run as admin, and then simply let it scan your system. And in this case, I will only want to perform the one time scan. The scan is complete. I just found a couple tracking cookies, which is normal for a website nowadays. And uh, nothing threatening was found. And here we go, deleted the cookies. Giving you some information and the program will close in a couple seconds, obviously, since it's a free version, sometimes you have to deal with these little annoying quirks. Now that we've finished cleaning up your PC, uh, what if when you either start the PC or even in safe mode with networking, what if you can't access the network? If you're having problems with Windows 10, trying to boot into safe mode with networking and you're running off Wi-Fi, check the video description. I have a video explaining how to solve that problem. Otherwise, you can come to with another PC, obviously, that has internet connection. You will need a USB key to transfer the data. And just come and download the Net Adapter Repair All in One program. Once it's copied over to your PC, simply run it as administrator again. Once it's open, select every single option and run all selected. And this will go through your whole PC and make sure that it tries every single option to reactivate your connection with the web. Now, restart your computer and it should be as good as new, nice and fast and completely clean. How do we protect it once again so you don't get reinfected? One nice little program that you can use is called Unchecky. So basically whenever you install something, Unchecky will go through it and make sure that you are not installing uh, toolbars or some iffy software. It's just basically keeping an eye out for you and making sure that when you install new software, that if it knows it can have some malware or some unwanted adware, it will unselect that option for you by default. Now, another great website to use when installing things is Midnight. Uh, over at Ninite.com, they have a nice variety of programs that you can install. So you si simply select it 
select whatever you want, then click your get your denite and we'll send you a file that you will run as administrator and it will auto download and auto install all the software you've selected for you and it will auto opt out of any promotions or adware or any crap it's trying to install. It will just give you the core basic software that you want. Another nice feature that I hadn't uh, I didn't know about from the night until uh, maybe a month ago is if you keep that same file and you rerun it maybe a month later, if it finds a new version of the software you already have, it will auto update it for you by default. So that's great little tool. Denite.com highly recommended. Also under the security tab, you can see there's a bunch of um, antiviruses that are available like Avas, AVG, uh, Avira, or even the big main ones. I personally use Webroot, uh, Bitdefender, stuff like that. Make sure you install a copy of an antivirus on your computer. It can be a free version if you want, no problem. I personally pay for mine because uh, I, I, I believe that they need money to keep their products up to date. But there is a free version available for most of the major ones. Um, install it, make sure you run it. And also, I like to run it side by side with malware bytes. Like I said before, I pay for my license and uh, it protects me real time. It saved my bacon more than once. Sometimes when I'm looking for some specific uh, project files or documents or software, sometimes I go in the deep corners of the web and it really keeps an eye out for me and make sure that I don't infect myself by accident. So I hope this was uh, useful for you guys. I would like to thank the guys over from Reddit, uh, the subreddit tech support over at reddit.com. There will be a link to the guy that I've used to greatly inspire myself. So this video was mostly built thanks to them. Uh, it is an updated version of the video guide I already had on how to remove malware, viruses, adware, etc. So to recap, try to run this as a no normal Windows session if you can. If you cannot, then definitely use safe mode with networking. I gave you a couple tools and tips on how to properly boot it. Make sure you run your MS config and or your task manager if you're running Windows 10 or 8.1 or 8. And make sure you disable what you don't need. And it's okay to leave some of these things disabled. All they do is sometimes they'll pre-start, I'm air quoting here, pre-start themselves. So that when you do start the program for real, it'll be a lot faster. But nowadays computers are so fast that whatever you don't need or whatever you need, it will start by itself once it needs it. So that is not a problem. Once you're all clean and everything is happy, you can use programs like Ninite or Unchecky to make sure that you don't install the malware or the viruses and then make sure you use layered defense. So I like to go with the antivirus and anti-malware. In my case, I use Webroot and uh, malware bytes and time malware. Well, thanks for sticking out and uh, watching till the end of the video. I hope your computer is nice and clean now and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Thank you.